hey hi guys this is Sridip here and today I will be talking about uh, hooks how to build our custom hooks so in last video we have seen how to uh, use use state and use effect in today's video we'll be using use state use effect and then building our custom hooks now when to create our custom hooks now whenever you see there is a logic which has been constantly repeated and you're like just copy pasting it instead of just copy pasting you can create your own function which can be used as a hook and whenever you want to or whenever there is a data been re-rendered or any state has been updated and that should be called then you can use that custom hook uh, the best example for that I can say is fetching a data from backend now in our case if you see the application which we have created is like we are fetching data of uh, users from backend right so whenever the uh, name changes we are fetching the data in our scenarios so this will be the, the data is whenever the name changes we are making api call uh, in future there may be a case where it may happen that we have some different url that has to be fetch uh, will be fetching the data so let's see how to create a custom hook first so i've created a file say service.js inside that uh, i've given a i've started with a function whose name is use fetch data now if you're creating custom hook make sure you start it with use so that it follows or uh, uh, follows the rules of react hooks so i've given it use fetch data and i'm passing it a url now what i said that whenever we have to make any api call we cannot pass a url if the url changes then api call should be made if the url doesn't change we are not going to make a api call it's like i'm not repeatedly uh, clicking a button of player's name so i don't want to fetch it every time so only whenever the name of the player is changing we're going to make a api call now we are using a use state uh it's loading flag i have used so whenever i make an api call uh, i will make it true and whenever the API has been served, a uh, response I get, I will make it false. Use state, uh, this has been used for storing the output, the response which I get. Now I have a use effect which is going to be executed whenever URL is going to change. So whenever the player name changes, our URL is going to change and we're going to fetch the data. So this is the first thing we are as soon as the URL change, we have to make API call. So I will make is loading true and I'm going to call a async function, which is uh, calling a fetch, uh, which is calling a fetch URL. Now I've given a set timeout just to show a delay in URL. You don't require to use set timeout. This is just for example. So a delay of 1500 seconds and then once we get a output we're going to set it in our state and we're going to make is loading false in case of error same so you're going to store a empty object and you're going to store is loading false right so this is our custom hooks so it can it can have an argument or parameters you can say and it's going to return your variables or array of objects whatever you want now output is at last objects and is loading is our variable so you can say you can return an array now let's go to our career detail page now we know uh use state we have like details and set details similarly what uh, we're gonna write our custom use fetch so like const you're gonna say what we, it returns it returns us these two things so i'm just copy these two things and i'm going to put it here equal to use fetch data and i'm going to pass url now url is this the one we have used last time this is a json file which i have stored and i'm just uh, bringing the data from the json file i'm loading the json file in short so just copy this output and we'll put it here okay and we'll remove all the use effect whatever we have written in our files because the same thing our use fetch is going to do now okay let's save this okay. and see what response i'll just refresh okay 
and let's see so the, if you see it was blank for some time because I have given a set timeout and then we got the details see so this is how the API works it may be uh, due to network issues or delay there may be a time when the d uh, data may take to load so in and design if you see a uh, new website there is a skeleton part now what is skeleton you may say this gray area been shown whenever data is loading so that is called it skeleton so let's see what are the APIs of skeleton so in API of skeleton you can see whether it's active now whenever we have to show animation and we are going to use active flag so this is how the animation looks so if you see there is like oh, it's moving from left to right so that animation if you have to show you can use active flag then we have avatar the circle shown over there it can be a circle shape or square shape so that are the in props of avatar you can pass what shape and what size it should be then we have a loading flag now whenever we have to show a skeleton we have to make loading flag true and whenever we have to stop it we have to make it false now paragraph and title is a placeholder for showing uh, paragraphs and title how much it should be so let's go and use skeleton in our project so we have to show a skeleton for this team so in our project that will be this part so from team till bowling this this part should be shown as a skeleton whenever the data is loading right so what I will do I will create a wrapper around them of skeleton Kelly done and I will make it as active because I have to show it in animation and I will give loading equal to is loading so is loading flag we are getting for our custom hooks this is is loading fetch which is we are getting it from use fetch data right and at the end of this div when I say skeleton I have to close that okay so let's save this and see what happens now okay it's uh, import it see now we are getting a skeleton so whenever the data is loading we get a skeleton now if you see the skeleton you see there are like four rows but we have five so in this skeleton if you go and see paragraph I said paragraph can be used to show how many rows we want so this paragraph we can have to sh here and we'll show a four paragraph it's compiling now <coughs> oh, excuse me see now we have total five now we have given four rows so the first row is actually the title so this is the title and these are the four rows right so now if I click it twice just breathe it's gonna not show us the skeleton because the URL is not changing in that case our URL logic is whenever the player name changes our URL is going to change so whenever the player name changes our URL change but whenever we are clicking on the same player it's not going to change right so whenever you change a player it's going to show us a loader it's going to fetch the data from backend right So let's go back and revise what we have done. So to create a custom hook, first thing we have to make sure that we use start the name of the function with use, and then we're gonna pass a parameter argument whichever you want to pass it. And last thing is returning 
you can return a single object like is loading also and you can capture it there or you can return an array of object it's on you how your function is gonna work inside that you can use use state and use effect because the, at last these are the function so you can have all the functions together and uh, there are custom hooks even available on npm where which we're going to do this work but if you have to change it to axis then you can do axis if you want to handle errors you can do errors if you have to make your own custom hook which gonna handle the errors separately data separately based on your api backend response then you can create this separate hook instead of going for uh, npm react hooks uh, fetch available in npm okay so for now this is the last update of the uh, and the videos which i have been creating and uh, i will be bringing new videos but that won't be about the and the videos i will say it will be separately on whatever day to day i've been using in my project uh, so the libraries which i use and the libraries which may be helpful for everyone for the freshers most probably uh, and yeah that's it till then next time code whatever you want to code and have a nice day bye